All right, so um, somebody asked to see a couple of these examples done out on the discriminant worksheet from today. So um, I'm gonna do number one and seven for you. So the discriminant of a quadratic is b squared minus 4ac, which is um, the thing that's under the square root in the quadratic formula that we did for the last few days. Um, so the first thing before you do any of these, the quadratic equation that you're given needs to be equal to zero. So um, for number one, it's already equal to zero, so we don't need to do anything with that. Um, now, since we're doing b squared minus 4ac, we need to identify what a, b, and c are. Um, and just like before, um, it's just the coefficients. So a is 6, b is negative 2, and c is negative 3. So then b squared minus 4ac, we're just going to substitute a, b, and c into this. So b squared is negative 2 squared um, minus 4 times a, which is 6, times c, which is negative 3. Um, one thing you need to be really careful with um, is the negatives. So negative 2 squared, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 minus 4 times 6 is 24. And we're going to need to multiply that by negative 3. So 24 times negative 3 is negative 72. So this is where we need to be careful. Um, you have 4 minus negative 72, which turns into 4 plus 72, which is 76. So your discriminant for number 1 is 76. I'm also going to do number 7 because it's a little different. It asks you about how many solutions this has. Um, another thing that's different about 7 is that it's not equal to 0. It's equal to negative 10. So we need to add 10 to both sides of this before we start anything. So once we add 10 to both sides, negative 8 plus 10 is positive 2. Um, and then we're good to go. So A is 9, B is negative 3, and C is positive 2. So then we just substitute all of those things into B squared minus 4 times A times C. So B squared is negative 3 squared minus 4 times A, which is 9 times c, which is 2. And then we just simplify that. So negative 3 squared is 9, uh, minus 4 times 9 is 36. And then we're going to need to multiply that by 2. So 36 times 2 is 72. 9 minus 72 is negative 63. So the discriminant is negative in this case, which if you're thinking about the quadratic formula, it makes sense that that's not going to have any solutions because you're not allowed to have a negative number under a square root. So since the discriminant is negative, there are no real solutions. Um, the worksheet says two imaginary solutions, which is also true. We're going to talk about that um, soon. So that's numbers one and seven. Um, just email me if you have any other questions or if you want me to um, show you any other examples.